For the vector, vector v, which has component form 3 find, find and draw part a, 2 times vector v. Well, first off, vector v having component form 3 5 means that its initial side, initial point at the origin, and terminal point is at 3 5. So there is vector v. I'm going to write it over here. Vector v is in blue, 3, 5. So to find 2 times vector v, that means we're doing 2 times the vector 3, 5, which means we're going to multiply through 2 times 3, comma 2 times 5. Class, 2 times 3, 2 times 5, 10. So what should appear happens to vector v? Doubles in length, but in the same direction. So when we draw this new vector, it should overlap the previous one that we did in blue here. So 6, 10, that doesn't, all right, okay, got it. So starting from the origin, going to 6, 10, I don't know, it's, I don't, oh, that was pretty good, I'll take it. So this is 2 vector v, same direction, double the length. What about one-half vector v? What is that going to turn out to be? Three halves, five halves. Oh, wow. I put a new tip in here, so it's it got stuck. That was pretty cool, though. All right, so the component form is 3 halves, 5 halves. So 1.5, 2.5, let's see, 1.5, 2.5. My scaling's a little off here. That's okay. Oh, that looks okay. That's fine. The same direction as vector v, just half as long. And negative 3 vector v, what's going to happen there? Yep, so negative 3 vector v, what is the component form? Good. Starting from the origin, terminal point, oh no! Spaghetti-o, my y-axis only goes to negative 14. Yeah, but it, I don't think it'll let me draw it there. All right. Uh, uh, there's a point down there, everyone. Uh, hammer time. So triples on length, but now opposite direction. <laughs> 